He went to find schools and so forth and was ultimately drafted into the German army, mm -hmm. uh, which he didn't do very well in. He was uh, anti-Nazi and for his views and uh, for what he did, he was sentenced to death, uh, court-martialed, uh, sent to a German prison. And uh, remarkably, his sentence was commuted to um, hard labor, five years of hard labor in a concentration camp. Part of the, the, this legacy that we have is that you stand up for mm -hmm. things yeah. that are right. If you see an injustice, not maybe you, but if you see someone else get, getting, you know, um, uh, having an injustice put upon them, it's, you need to stand up and say something. And I think that's, you know, part of this whole thing Very about, much. you know, being in a Nazi uniform and standing up and, you know, to the degree where they they decided to you know, kill you for it. German white immigrant parents were, were just astounded that, that, that blacks were treated that way and, and that we don't treat people like that. And you know, my father would you know, say, again, they're people, don't they understand that? They, you know, that the worst thing you can do is deny person their personhood. And, and uh, you can beat them and you can, you can kill them, you can do anything, but to deny that person to, that they are a person is the worst thing you can do. Bob Newman's friend painted this picture in an Austrian concentration camp in 1944 near the end of the war. Bob asked his friend, Willie Rosenthal, to paint a picture of what it would look like if he were free. When Willie finished the painting, he gave it to Newman. Of the two friends, only Newman survived. On the day of liberation, and Willie uh, was also in with, their, with him, and they had terrible dysentery, and so they, they you know, were having terrible diarrhea, and he wanted to go off to the side of the road to you know, go to the bathroom. And, and my father said, no, don't do it. And he said, no, look, the Americans are right over there. And as he, as he stooped over to the side of the road, they shot him right as he was being liberated. Uh, wherever we went, especially kids being kids, they'd call each other's names and stuff like that. And when they called, they used to call us uh, 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 Nazis. Oh, oh, you're from Germany, you little Nazi, right? Oh, you Nazi this, you Nazi that, you know. And, and they didn't understand what they were telling us. They didn't understand, they just didn't understand, how could they know? So that was hard, but I think the hardest one was um, in sixth grade, uh, fifth grade, Mrs. Erickson at Douglas, High, uh, Douglas Elementary School off of Franklin Avenue in Hennepin. It's not there anymore, they tore it down. Okay. Um, fifth grade, first day of school, uh, she pulled me aside into the cloakroom and she says, I'm going to keep my eye on you, you little Nazi. She said, I know what your people did to my people and I'm not going to put up with you in my class. So to, my people, to my people, meaning to the American she was, people? No, she was, uh, I guess she was Danish. Danish? She was, okay. she, had, uh, she was an American, but her, her ancestry was, 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 was Danish. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, no, not at all. And, um, and then she told me to go, go sit down, and I thought, I, d I didn't quite understand what just happened there. Were other kids around at this time? Did no, she pulled me aside oh, in the cloakroom oh, oh, by okay, myself, okay. Just, just the two of us. Okay. And she was like, in my face. With it. So, I, so I, I like to have some, uh, something that's whimsical, something sure. that reminds me of the, of the fact that you can't let go. Yeah, put a, a yeah. See if you can hang it somewhere. The, uh, the fact that you can't let go of your humor, that you yeah, need, that's right. you need humor, you need um, things like that in your life that's to make it through sometimes the tough parts, which a one sense of humor. Do that one? Yeah. 